Welcome back to the What's Cooking Show. Again, we have David Estelet with Bruce Foods with us today, and he's getting ready to make us some black bean salsa. Dave, let's get started. That's correct. Um, we already have the chicken on the grill. Whenever I barbecue at home, normally I tell my friends, hey, we're going to eat around 6. They show up at 4, and they're hungry. <laughs> so I had to figure out a way to, to appease that. Actually, if I have any friends out there that are listening, you guys know I love you, and I'm kidding. Uh, no more feelings. No. Well, that's this, a good this, just a way, this is just a way that I get to show off some of our products. We have our Casa Fiesta black beans. I have four cups. I have one standard size can of corn. I have one large purple onion, diced fine. I have two to three tomatoes in here. They're seeded. Now, the, the situation with the removing the seeds, it's not as important in this application as it's going to be when we make the guacamole. Uh, you could, if you want the additional liquid, you can keep it. That's fine. Uh, we have one bunch of cilantro. It's a nice fresh cilantro. Perfect. Cilantro is what makes it. Mm -hmm. And, it's, and it's we have Casa Fiesta. It's a combination here of diced jalapenos and diced green chilies. I have four tablespoons of each. Be just the right amount of heat. And this is what makes this one so easy. Casa Fiesta taco seasoning mix. One this package. Is enough. You get it in there with the other ingredients, then we're going to start folding everything together. I also add an, one additional tablespoon of Maxine chili powder. And just so you guys know, if it's not Maxine, it's not chili powder. Well, that's true, there. there you go. That's the first time I ever heard of putting chili powder in a salsa. Oh, uh, cumin. Mm hmm. Like we have one teaspoon of cumin seed. Bring out some of that nice smoky flavor. Love cumin. Yeah. yeah. People always ask me, what does cumin taste like? And I always tell them it's what, ta what makes tacos taste like tacos. Tacos, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm rubbing it right there it's to release the oils. Uh, the guys back here can actually to smell it now. Oh, yeah. Well, and it, <laughs> well Jason's not, a not all of us. Not all of us. Jason is having a little difficulty this morning with the pollen. Excuse me at home, I have sinus problems this morning. So. Some lime juice. Kind of wonder what you did last night, Jason. Huh? I went into the wrong building and I'm under construction. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to fold all this together. Get all these seasonings and all these great ingredients to, to blend and oh, Jason, to come I wish together. You could smell this. Oh, no, you know, that's just not right. <laughs> <laughs> Tease. Maybe we need to just add a little bit more heat to it, Dave. That way you can start breathing again. Uh, <laughs> Clear we, my sinuses. We, we may have enough, I think, once, <laughs> once it's all done. I think we'll get enough in there. Man, it's that, pretty cool, that's for sure. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a nice little salsa right there. It's, it's really great. Um, sometimes <coughs> I'll use it not just on chips, but sometimes I'll use it to top chili. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll use it uh, just as a, a side with, with barbecue. You know, it, it's just, it's, it's very versatile. And Make some homemade nachos, put that on top of there? Absolutely. But, I mean, on top of chili, that'd be yeah. awesome. That would be perfect garnishment for chili. Mm -hmm. Got the powder in there already? Yeah. <laughs> it leads you right in. Well, David, you were telling us before the show started that you get to go around the country and introduce all the Bruce Foods products. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's, it's a great gig. I, I mean, I really love what I do. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this year, I was the best trip I've ever taken. I, you know, and thankfully, uh, the generosity of Cy Brown and Patrick Brown, they allowed me to go up to Williamsport, Pennsylvania to cook for the Little League team from Lafayette that had made the tournament. And it was just a phenomenal trip. Uh, the, the fact that the, the kids were from Lafayette and everything else just added to everything. Uh, I will say this, it's all about kids and baseball when mm -hmm. you get up there. And if you've ever get a chance to attend the College World Series, I'm sorry, the Little League World Series, make sure that you, you do that. It's a fantastic, 
journey. Experience, huh? We have some chips somewhere around here. If we can try this, and okay. I'm going to set this off for you guys to taste. All right. Let us know how you what you think, and then I'm going to start working on the guacamole. Great. That's the part I like, guacamole. I think it's behind guacamole. You in the bag. When I'm making oh. a mess up here, guys. No, that's nothing. We're just eating good. So you came up with this recipe yourself, uh, thing? It was a way for us to uh, demonstrate and, and showcase our Costa Fiesta products for the Louisiana Restaurant Association. Uh, I had been I had been making black bean salsa in my own home, but this was a way to get all the uh, the Costa Fiesta ingredients that I have in there in the uh, in the salsa. Delicious, but it's good. I can get you to be so kind to grab the rest of those containers out of there. I'll get to work on the guacamole. All right. Okay. We'll probably no, not this. Nope. That's for the uh, for the beignets. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Okay. okay, we have, uh, I guess we'll have to work on this through the break. Okay, sounds good. We can always do that. <clears throat> that black bean salsa That'll give really... them a chance to work on some more of that black bean salsa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna work on it at the break, I promise you that. Mm -hmm. We just got played around with it, that little one chip. Just a fair warning, don't cut yourself on a set because I will pass out <laughs> <laughs> on the show. I don't plan on it. <laughs> but stranger things have happened. There you go. Some beautiful avocados. Please. Speaking about avocados, if you want the uh, ingredients that Dave's using here today, you can come by your local Piggly Wiggly stores here in Opelousa and pick them up. And 8410 Highway 182 North 1305. or 1305. Sorry. See, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get it. 1305 had a drive. That's right. They pick up all your ingredients. Uh, we have Bruce Food products. We have Louisiana products, uh, Cajun injectors. Just about anything you need. And uh, again, Bruce Foods always come out with new stuff. So, you know, if there's something that you've seen that Bruce has put out and we don't carry it yet, just stop by my office and tell me what's going on. And I'm sure you have most of them, though, at the pig. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit of them. So just stop by the Pickle Wiggly stores and pick it up and... Uh, well, uh, the only thing you don't have is the black bean salsa. That's but it. You have to make that yourself. Got all the ingredients. <laughs> you can make it yourself. That's right. right. The recipe will be online, so you guys certainly get it. And that's always, that would, you know, every time, you, you know, when you cook at your house, you got guests over. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times if it's a barbecue or something, you're going to do chips and dips. A lot of times if people buy their, you know, the dips already made. Mm -hmm. That one was so easy, you know, you could throw right. it together. Just know, throw it together. Just something a little more fancy. Mm -hmm. And fresh, too. And take all the credit. That's right. Yeah. Cool. We're going to take a short break, and then we're going to come back with more What's Cooking in just a few minutes.